Hello, Foster. Greetings. I'm Laura. And Joe. Welcome to the Soul Vat Farm. This is the farm where we grow cross stitch. One stitch at a time. Today is Monday, August 1st. It's the new month. Where did July go? <laughs> Seriously, where's. A ball of stress and psychosis? I got a bit of dinner on me. Oops. Seriously, we were sitting and stitching today. Like, did we not just have a guild meeting like yesterday? Because there's a guild meeting coming up Wednesday. Oh, do we do anything for that one? Um, I have nothing FFO'd for the show and tell table. Oh well. I haven't done anything. Oh, at least I got some stitching in this week. I think maybe. You might get some stitching in. Or it might be hot as heck in there again. It's not hot. Wednesday's gonna be super hot. I love summer because I love my pool and I love growing stuff in my garden. I'm done. Y'all, it's just been, it's been a really hot summer. Um, yeah. Well, it hasn't been really hot. It's just been. It's been hot. And last week we could, it was not a good pool week because it was either cold or it was stormy. that kind of stuff and I ordered and I ordered ooh, excuse me sunscreen from Amazon like a week and a half ago and it's still not here yet don't worry we will get it on our anniversary I know we are one month away from our 15 year wedding anniversary where are you taking me the pool <laughs> You didn't say you wanted to go anywhere, and I don't have any allocated funds, so we're staying here. I know. It'll be okay. Um, how was y'all's week? Because, I don't know, I thought our week was kind of boring. Tired. Tired. I, maybe one of us has slept well. I don't know what it is. Um, I'm stuck <sighs> to my ring. Okay, then. There we go. That happened. <laughs> it's been a Monday. It's been a weird Monday. It just has. It just has. We, I should probably say welcome to all of our new subscribers. We have gotten, I lost, I stopped counting <laughs> new subscribers today. One of our one of our subscribers and one of my friends, Morty, from Mad Morty. Her channel's name is Mad Morty. Um, must have shouted us out in her video today. I'm sure she did. She tagged us in it. I haven't watched it yet today because Mondays are like busy between going to church, doing the grocery shopping, and then going to my stitching and filming this. But um, some busybody doesn't actually stop moving on Mondays until she goes to bed. Mondays are busy. <laughs> just what it is. So we've got some new subscribers. Welcome to the Madhouse. I hope you like squirrels. Hope you like squirrels because we like squirrels. Why don't we shout out the viewers that commented on last week's video? Well, there was a Pauline Horn that hit her comment in a reply, so I went down that. No. Teresa. Andre, Victoria, how are you, Victoria? Then, Susie's cat. Sorry, I have not been able to get busy. My brain is freaky fried. I My sleep schedule, five hours at best. And then, Jen Marsh. And apparently my reference was applied to multiple things, so we can still be friends last week. If anybody uses movie trivia to decide whether or not you can be friends with them, it's a joke. Run! It's a joke. So is what I said. Because I don't know anybody who'd be that big about. My hair is irritating me today, y'all. So I'm probably gonna mess up with it. Sorry. And I think somebody sh somebody commented on one of our videos from the week prior, and I don't remember. Because I got a notification for somebody that wasn't on this one. 
Oh, it was Victoria. I'm guessing she's catching up. Yeah, she must have. So, all right. Why don't we move on to whips? Okay. Booter, butter, beater, fly, booter, butter, beater, fly. Y'all ain't got no idea either. Some random thing we came up with when I was a kid. Alright, well, whips? No whips from you. I want sleep. We want sleepy slippers. Unfortunately, to those people who can cross stitch to relax and those people who can cross stitch in order to help them fall asleep when they're tired. You have my envy. I can't cross stitch unless my brain's running on all cylinders or I'm going to mess something up or I'm just that afraid of messing something up that I won't actually stitch. Oh, well, you know, fair enough. That's probably your ADHD. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's more the ADHD and my severe fear of messing things up because of my ADHD and some projects I've had die because of my ADHD when I stitched. Yeah. Remember the phoenix? Yes, I do. Oh. In our shoutouts, I forgot Cheryl because she private messaged me because we had a conversation about something that I, we talked about last week. <laughs> we had a whole messenger conversation. Oh, like, oh, 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 okay. Yeah. And I totally forgot until just now. She does that a lot. She'll be like, okay, so question. <laughs> and we'll just go from there. Well, next time, tell her to go hi in the comments, too. We have had a problem with getting her com She will comment on our videos, and they don't show up. And I'll be like, I know you commented. It tells me you commented. So, apparently... YouTube fix your... YouTube's just... Okay. Actually, from what I've been hearing, all of them are going to crap. I have had such an issue this weekend with Facebook. Y'all, most of you guys know I play a couple different Facebook games. One of my games, I will post my picture, and it'll, like, not be there. But if I go on my phone, but if I go on another device where I have somebody else look, it's there. I don't know what it is, because it's not happening in all of my other games. In any of my other games, it's just the one. It's aggravating me. A lot. It literally just did it before we were doing this because I needed to post a claim for something. I needed to move stitches over to post a claim for something, and I'm like, fudge. Nice catch. Fudge. How hard was it? How close were you to actually pronouncing the end of that word? I wasn't going to say the other word. Mm hmm. That literally sounded like you got through the first half of the word. What? Uh oh, kids! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, was. Yeah, that's kind of what we do here. Ghost Week in Daily 30 last week. So, stitch on. We, I had to stitch on a whip with a house. There's my whip with a house. We got bonus tokens for stitching on the house. I stitched on the house. I didn't see you on the roof. And by the way, part of the reason why I don't think I'd ever want to do Daily 30 is I would actually take a picture of myself cross-stitching on my roof and ask if that counts. And I feel like... I did more than what I wrote down for this. And you would. <laughs> because you're weird. I have I to be a I have to be the special cookie. I must have put this on a monthly. I don't know what monthly I put this on because I didn't write it down. But I did six hundred and what's five hundred and seventy plus sixty three? 570 and 63? Yes. 633. Three. I did 633 stitches on this. So it's my whip with the house and something else. I don't know what. 
that this was is 570, right? Yes. yes. Scenic Farm by Dimensions. It's just on the white 18 count, 8 o'clock. I have the extra fabric on it just to give me a little bit more to grab onto when I stitch. Um, There's also the fact that when house. you first started that you were using the scrolls. This is true. House. 300 something of that was on the house. And then I realized I never backstitched this tree. And I don't know why. I have a feeling it was because I was working on clouds and sky over here. And I thought I needed to get some more clouds and sky backstitched to finish it, but I didn't. So I backstitched the tree. Then I realized I didn't backstitch this and this. So I backstitched that. That was a lot of backstitch. <laughs> Um, that's why I'm doing it in stages, because it's a lot of backstitch. So there is <clears throat> the house area to fill up, and then there's a little bit past the house that's like another outbuild, small outbuilding, and then it'll be done. I do need to finish working on the ground down here under the house, but I have a feeling that may get done after I finish this outbuilding area. Because I also have to finish the sky. And what I have left to finish on the sky is going to go all the way to where the end of it is. So that's some counting I, I'm too lazy to do right now. Don't ask questions. Why? I like living dangerously. Um, and I'm going to stitch on that for a whip go for July. Then I had to stitch another day on my other dimensions kit, Victorian Way, for whip go for July. So I could pick what kind of ghost I would be, and I said I would probably be an antebellum ghost because I like big dresses and I cannot lie. And I'm obsessed with that time period in history. I don't know why. And I did 308 stitches on this. The road is complete over to here. And I think, no. I've got a little bit more sky. I think I've got a little bit more sky to do in over here. I might not. Um, but then I can backstitch this section, the central part. Again, it is a dimensions kit, so I am doing the backstitching as I go, as opposed to waiting until the very end, because I will be pulling my hair out, cussing and screaming if I don't. Does that mean you're going to use your hair to do the backstitching? I might be able to, because some of the backstitching is in black, and my hair is dark. And it falls out in droves. Yes, it does. I lose hair a lot. Alright. I can always tell when Laura's gone swimming. So we had to stitch on something that was either part of a mystery subscription box, a mystery box, a mystery cell. There was something else, I don't remember. But um, I pulled out Supernatural because this is a mystery. And I did 300 and. I found where I wrote down what the other scenic farm stitches were. It was for one of the weeklies. It was for something I needed help with. So, Supernaturals, as a mystery, I did 318 stitches on this. There is like a little, there's one line down here that I need to finish. And I also need to do a backstitch to finish her up. But the siren, I put a little bit of metallic in with my regular. I don't know if you can see it. Watch this video get flagged because she's naked. 
Even though you can't see nipples. I'm um, actually she does wear a bra. Look like it anyway. No. But, oh, hold on. She's naked. Well, without the back stitch, you can't tell. Yeah, you really can't tell. Um, this is on a piece of 32 count hand dyed by the Silver Farm uh, dirt road. I think I made this a little bit longer than it called for because with her cryptid cell, she gave you extras. So I'm going to count for that in case we get extra supernaturals. Because I'm probably going to get the cryptids eventually. Just because I want the cone of doom. The what? She made a cone of DMC black into a cryptid and called it the cone of doom. Let me guess. It eats husband's wallets. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to hell for that one. All right. Where is? There it is. Is it? Nope. There it is. All right. So then I had to stitch on something that we altered in some way. And we got bonus for taking a picture of our, of us stitching with the show Ghost. So I used this project. It is, it does not have a name. I felt the OSU marching band. <clears throat> I got this from Craft Gallery in Finley, Ohio. They have a special matting that makes it look like you're in the horse, the um, Ohio State University Horseshoe Arena football stadium. I am going to pay to get it matted in that because that's the whole reason I purchased this. Um, so I apply this to altering it because I did it on a hand dyed Ada or a hand dyed even weave versus the green Ada that it called for. And then I changed out the red in this for Buckeye Scarlet. Hashtag obviously dumb. Okay. I have a question. What? Why wasn't it already in that? Um, probably because this was copyright Nineteen eighty-seven, and I don't think Gentle Arts was around in nineteen eighty-seven. This was copyrighted three, four years after I was born. We, <laughs> Someone's we, going we, to say something we. about me making him feel old right now. By the way, Abhan, uh, you're we. supposed to say we, because you were born in eighty-three, also. But um, and then the little marchy band guys. Hopefully, you can see it. Um, there was four different skin tones that they were called for in. I did two of the four, and then I just pulled out two other ones out of my little skin tone bag that looked good to me. <laughs> I just went with it. Um, because that's how I felt like doing it. So the little marchy guys all are stitched in. I have to backstitch on them. As you can see, I started ba I backstitched the uh, tubas. I do have to backstitch the marchers, their little uniforms. That's going to be intense. I'm going to work on that next time I pull this out. Like, I literally don't know why I don't stitch on this. Probably because applying it to a challenge sometimes is a little difficult. Actually, because it's because I don't think about it, so I don't really think to uh, give you ideas for it. I, I, you've had several of them that, that would work for. Yes. That was, what, 600 and... 32 stitches. Okay. And then Fall on the Farm by Little House Needleworks. This is her newest series. We are on I just received Pattern 8 of 9. So you can buy this series via me, obviously. This is on the another Slovak piece farm. Link below. Of 32 Count Dirt Road. Can you tell what color I like to stitch on? And I did 366 stitches on it, which was to fill in the little white house. So the little white house is filled in. And with that, there's not much left on that block.
so with the deal, so daily thirty, we're they're doing a thing this year where we work on a sal for bonus after finishing the peppermint purple sal. I think I'm gonna start going back and forth every other week between the supernaturals and fall on the farm and just do that. Or and, just do the both. And if it and if it applies, right. what are you doing? Um, it's start, it starting to get cloudier out, and the sun's starting to dip in and out, so I turned oh, okay. the light on. And if it applies and I to... I how to do it. It's okay. If it applies to something in the week, in a weekly, I might pull it out for that, too. Like, I can use Fall on the Farm this week for one of the weeklies. Um, which we'll get to here in a minute. Um, I did start this week's weeklies for Daily 30, only because... I had finished the July monthly. I kind of forgot there was a whole nother weekend to the end of July. Oops. <laughs> For some reason I thought July ended earlier than it did. I love you. You're so cute. <laughs> so I started working on the prompts that came out Friday, which were um, in honor of the Commonwealth Games, which started Friday in Birmingham in Great Britain. Um, so I started with the prompt to stitch on a whip you can relate to any of the nations taking part in the Commonwealth Games. And I also stitched this for um, to stitch on a to stitch in the three colors <laughs> That they're using for the Commonwealth Games this year, which is blue, green, and yellow. I'm not sure if they use those colors every year or if it changes. One of you British people, could you tell me, please? Thank you. Comment <laughs> <laughs> I, I, below. I think she mentioned it in the full <laughs> prompt, but it's not on the little blip that we put in our post. So, honestly, I don't remember. Um, anyways, I pulled out... The Greyhound Year to stitch on. And I remember when I started this back in April, there was a fabric issue, so it didn't get very far. <laughs> and I think I was a little irritated with it. I know I was a little irritated with it because I didn't get very far. But I did 411 stitches on it in total this weekend. This is on a piece of, this is on a solo die. It's a 32 count solo die. Um, I looked at this and I had like this and this and this and this. And it was like, what was I doing there? I mean, I was clearly going to this block, but the way I did it made no sense in my brain when I looked at it after I had been, when I went back to it. <laughs> Um, 211 of those stitches, this right here, and this right here, and this right here, are in blue corn. That is a call for color. Um, I don't think anything else is going to be called for, other than maybe blue corn. I think I've got blue corn and tartan plaid. Those are, which tartan plaid is used in here. <laughs> It's used in part of the border. But I think those are the only called for I'm going for. Because this is the list of called for colors. And that is ridiculous even for somebody who gets their threads at wholesale. In my opinion. So what I decided to do was take each month and just pull colors that looked similar or went well in that month out of the stash that I have. So that's what I've done. Oh, and Peacoat is a call for black-ish color. I just did it in 310 because I liked that a little bit better than I liked Peacoat. Also, I don't think I had Peacoat. Plus you have that cone monster. Plus I have the cone of doom. And if you're new here, I fold everything up and put it away before we go move on because I will get myself so confused. You want to hear my bad joke? What? If you get 
two cones of doom, does that make a Madonna? Absolutely. Okay. Oh. And then... Oh, I'm going somewhere for that. Sunday was my day to work on... My recovered. Y'all, I am not in love with this thing. I love the pattern. I love the picture. I hate stitching on this. I hate stitching on it every time I pull it out. I want to scream and cry every time I pull it out. I use this for the prompt for a prompt that I can relate to travel the city of Birmingham or royalty because obviously he's the king. But 204 stitches took me six hours. That one didn't have a time feature, did it? It did. I could have done the time. By the time I went, I should just take the time option. I was already at 150 stitches. 204 stitches took me six hours. Looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. I love it. I hate stitching it. But once you get past the crown, it should get better, shouldn't it? I don't. I don't know. I'm very stressed out stitching. It's very time consuming. Well, then maybe you should put it in the don't touch it for a while pile. I think I'm going to. Because the last thing we need is Laura burning my house down because she's going into super rage mode. I have it on Letters of the Month again in December. So don't touch it until December. I think it's going to go away until December. I looked on Whipgo. Steamheart and General Store are on Whipgo. I know General Store is coming up. I just don't think I'm a full coverage stitcher, y'all. I really don't think I am. I do have those two um, stamped kits that I have. But those have the picture stamped on them in colors. And you kind of, you fill in the color. You know, you, you have a guy with where the colors are. This is like, okay, so I need to put this symbol here. Where where exactly is it on here? It's stressing me out. I think that, well, what the f what? what the flip, what the flip? What the flip, what the flip? I kept hearing ding, 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 but it wasn't coming from my phones. It is probably my tablet because <laughs> my phone has been going nuts today and... My tablet, if I do not have it turned on, like if it's on but asleep, my it'll like bing the notifications once every 30 minutes or so. Okay. I'll just So that's probably what it is. Okay, I was just So this is coming off of my stitch on it once a month. What I'm trying to say is Lardo touching it for a while. This is coming off of my stitch on once a month rotation. I think I need I guess I need to decide what I want to put on yeah, that's my tablet. I want to decide what I need to put on my stitch on a once stitch on once a month rotation. Well, that's in the plan section. So maybe you can help me figure that out. But um, that has been my stitching for this week. Again, I'm not going to show you what I was stitching on today because I'm still stitching on it. That was a lot of, that was actually a lot of stitching this week. <laughs> I didn't total it up for the week, but it was a lot of stitching. Did you that good, Terry? Thank you. Love you. I love you. Oh, and if you're new here, this is how I normally am. This is, this is normal. Well, like, I've had people go, this is how you, do, is this, are you putting on a show? No. They're like, we thought you were putting on a show. No, you're this weird in person. And I'm like, yep. Yeah, he is. Okay. Why don't we move on to plans because I don't have any help. Okay. <laughs> Plans and announcements. <laughs> my stitch schedule is dependent on my sleep schedule. True. Pray I go to sleep. I won't sleep. Can I get some Z's in the comment section to help me go to sleep? Z. I technically do have Hall. It's the new Fall on the Farm, but 
I'm not entirely sure where the other one's at this moment. So we'll get it in. I said, you know. So what are your plans? When I get the last one in the series, I will go through all nine of them and show them off. How about that? That sounds okay. like good. Okay, so plans. <clears throat> well. Deep subject. Like I said, I started the um, Commonwealth Games weekly Friday because I had the time. Because I was on some monthly. And I'm almost done. To be fair, the Greyhound one stitched really quickly because it was two colors. In a line. In lines, yes. Um, I did get... Hold on. Okay, so stitch on a whip that contains a female. Fall on the farm has a chick on it in the first block. Uh, I was actually going to say lady with dog. Oh, that's right. Or raving queen. Well, yeah, I thought about my pretty ladies... Lady with dog. She is so close to being done. Lady with dog. <laughs> so that stitches would get so much work on her. We don't. And if you run out of prompts, you can just finish her. This is also true. So you just, you know, finish it? We did get the new monthly today. Maybe I'll see how many how many monthlies I can st stick her onto. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, what else oh, you I'm got? Stuck. Okay. Um, and then let's see. <clears throat> this one I actually already have done. I finished it today. Is to stitch on a whip where you have more than one brand of floss or with collaboration between designers. I have several, multiple projects that have more than one brand of floss on in them. I had not stitched on my Merry Christmas, y'all, with the cowboy boot in a while. I knew I had I had three different brands of floss in it. Three. Three, y'all. Three. And so I just did that for that. Nothing's wrong with you. Um, that one's done. And then to do my Sal one, which will be Supernaturals. So I only have three more weeklies left to do, and that'll be done. Being that it was the 200 week in the, with the stitch counts. Kind of easy. We got the August monthly. Um, World Cross Stitch Day is coming up. I believe it's Friday. Maybe next Friday. There's a World Cross Stitch Day? Yes, there's a World Cross Stitch Day. Well, I guess I had to stitch on that day, no I? Yes. I think it might actually be Friday the 12th. Uh, 13th. Isn't this the time we're not in this area? Or no, Friday the 12th. Yes. That figures. That's when we're going down to. Well, we'll have a little bit of time. When we get down there and chill and relax. So, okay. um, so <clears throat> one of the members of Daily 30 used a poem. Hold on. Uh, but I'm in a poem called Embroidery by Margaret Wild Wildemer? Widemer. Widemer? Because of the two Ds, I think it makes Widemer, it sound Widemer, yeah. Uh, and so what they did for the monthly was to take the poem and break it down into 10 sections and give us a little snippet. And we have to pick a pro we have to relate a project to that section. So like the first part, she sits and makes pink roses with her thread and wonders what to do. Her heart is stir. Somehow you, you pick a word. I can I can actually re relate that to Lady with Dog, actually. Pink. No. She looks like she's getting ready to think about what she's going to do next. That's true. Awesome. She got her clothes. She got the dog. She's ready to go. She's thinking about what she's doing next. Yeah. What road to take, What ro where roads branch close ahead, and how to know her true love calling her. Lady with Dog, true love. My greyhound is my true love. So that's how the monthly is going to go. So I'm probably not going to read you every snippet of the poem for the monthly. I do it. I'm going to work on that. I do know that I'm more. Um, one of these has something about thorny or a thorny path or some thorny branches or something like that. I am using my boot 
because it's got holly on it. <laughs> and holly is a thorny bush. Mm -hmm. so. so we'll see what, how it works out. I have to use... I haven't stitched on... I think if I were to look at my list of projects... What I haven't stitched on... Mini Steamheart has not been stitched on, but I honestly don't know if I'm stitching on that because of my frustrations with full coverage right now. I have not stitched on Winter Solstice in a while. My Mill Hill Farms Market and Lace Corset are the only ones that I have not touched before working on something else. Does that make sense? Yes, it did. Okay, so if I can work those into something, that would be good too. If you hear something, that's the wind. It is very windy. There are storms blowing south of us. We're supposed to get some, like, soon, so I'm trying to wrap this up. Um, our WIPCO calls for the month were... One T, which is my Eric Michaels sampler book, and 25? Why does that not sound right? Do I to pause it? I think I can find it really quick. Of course, my phone doesn't want to look for it. Well, I got to slow this down. Otherwise, my head blurs too much. A little bit. Do, 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 do. We don't have the best camera. You can see the number of subscribers and easily guess why. Good cameras are expensive. Where's Wicko? There's Wicko. Okay, so the numbers were 20 and 25. I was right. And that is a sampler book. Lesson to y'all. Trust yourselves. You can do it! Um, so 20 is Sampler Book by Eric Michaels and 25 is Strutting Tom by Lindy Stitches. Two days each on those projects. That's done. Um, so that will be relatively easy. Um, maybe put me a good point of almost done on strutting Tom because there's not once you get done with his checkerboard body he's not too hard to do okay and then letters of the month for August are J and I J is an ornament give joy pretty sure that's an ornament I didn't write it down and I should have. The only other thing it would be is a, in the last year's, in the 2020 keepsakes calendar. So I'll look for that. I'm pretty sure it's an ornament, though, because I know I stuck some ornaments that I wanted to do on this list. And then I is the general store because there's an ice cream sign on it. So, and that's two days. We'll see how that goes. Definitely probably not going to work on Steam Art anytime soon because I have general store in this month. It's just how it's going to go. I don't know. I'm looking at the rest of the year. Okay. That's plans. I have no announcements. Y'all are awesome. And yeah. My volume switch broke. I'm sorry. My tired switch is broke. Oh, my tired, tired switch ran away and went to bed. Well, there you go. So. <laughs> that's been our week, y'all. Has anybody else had trouble sleeping this week? I don't know if it's the heat that's been the problem. The humidity, what? the sun. I say, I mean, the humid, the heat shouldn't be an issue. We got air conditioning. The sun is starting to set sooner and sooner. I don't know. I don't know what my problem is. 
<sighs> Massive yawn. All right. That has been our stitchy week. We are going to go. I got to do something first. Uh-oh. What do I do at the end of every video? I was getting there. Uh, I thought you were leaving. We don't script this, as you can tell. What we want the people to do, darling? Imagine me trying to follow a script. We tried that once. It didn't work. Um, I don't think we got anything on paper because I just went no. We tried for a little while. It just didn't. No, I am not somebody who's going to do like I could never be an actor. Ablibber, yeah. Actor, no. I get fired in five minutes. I forget every line they told me with a teleprompter. I want y'all to have a lovely day. I want you to like, comment, subscribe. Bell notification thingy, me Bobby. All the YouTube bingo borp. All the YouTube bingo borp. Bingo borp. Well, like considering the word that actually entered my mind and I quickly had to change the subject, it begins with a B and it can, it, and you're not allowed to say it. It's two words. Use your imagination. Yep, this is like, it's day. All right, well, thank you guys for joining us. My hair is finally taking me off to the point where it's going back in the point, too. <laughs> it's gonna die. We will see you guys next week. Have a great one. Bye, 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 bye.